God's promises. The land of milk and honey is before you, Anne Ballard, Reading, CA in the month of March, I believe that God wants to remind you of the promises he's made to you, showing you how you can partner with him to see them come to pass. I believe that he is also healing the hearts of those who have longed for fruitful relationships but experienced pain instead. Watch for him to bring breakthrough as you lay down your agenda of how these relationships should look. Also watch for truth to be revealed in the media, and ask God to show you his answers as you embrace humility. Many people are facing situations that feel impossible, and they may even feel powerless to change them. But be encouraged, God is bringing solutions to things that have felt impossibly big and insurmountable. Land of milk and honey. And you shall write on them all the words of this law, when you cross over to enter the land that the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 3. Just as God made a promise to the Israelites that he would lead them into a land flowing with milk and honey, God wants to remind you of the promises he's made to you. He is faithful to fulfill what he has promised you. The land of milk and honey was Israel's inheritance, but at the same time there was effort required by the Israelites to steward that promise well. In order to have milk, cows must be tended. In order to have honey, bees must be kept and the honey extracted. God delights in our partnership, we co-labor with heaven to walk into our promises. Before Israel inhabited their promised land of Canaan, they became angry with God in the waiting. In order for them to receive their promise, they had to believe him and take him at his word. Instead, they lacked belief in his capability, faithfulness, and loving nature. Just like with a people mover at the airport, you have to take the initial step, and then the momentum of the device carries you forward. When it comes to God's promises, we often play a vital role in seeing them come to fruition. God is reminding us of his promises to us. We are privileged to partner with God and co-labor with him to obtain our promise. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. The tension of standing in faith is that we are choosing to believe God while we wait for it to come to pass. We don't stand in faith when we see it, but before we see it. This month, ask God to show you how you can intentionally take a step toward your promised land. Be reminded that those who are not full of faith will not understand. Surround yourself with people of like-minded, bold, and courageous faith. Your single step, made in faith, is bringing you that much closer to your breakthrough. Take a step today and partner with what God is doing in your life. Photo via Unsplash. Healing hearts. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6. Most of us have at some point in our lives longed for a relationship that felt elusive and just out of reach. For some, it's been upsetting for a moment, and for others, it has led to years of heartbreak and confusion. In many instances this relationship has been a part of your family, and for others of you it was a friendship or a romantic relationship. I believe that God is bringing healing this month to people who have histories of painful relationships. For some of you, these relationships will be supernaturally restored overnight, and for others God will bring healing to your hearts apart from those relationship being realized. The key for this breakthrough to be manifested is for you to surrender your ideas of how things should look. As you pray, lay down your own agenda for that relationship and ask God to show you what he has in mind. Watch as God opens the door of breakthrough when we take steps toward the desires of our hearts. He's bringing healing to painful places that only he can. God values connection and the prioritization of family. He wants this restoration to happen even more than you do. Consider this month that God may be inviting you to surrender your agenda for these painful relationships as you trust him to bring healing and restoration. Truth in media. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John chapter 8 verse 32. Not everything we hear in the news is true. It is becoming increasingly important to learn the right questions to ask in order to get to the truth because everyone has their own angle on the story. Discernment and wisdom are needed now more than ever in determining what is really going on in the world around us. Whereas the enemy would seek to divide and distract, God turns impossible situations around for good, even amidst terrible losses. Just like he promises, he is the God that works all things together for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. When we come to conversations with our defenses up, ready to fight, it's so much harder to find the truth. The key is humility. Right now, God is showing us the right questions to ask. He's raising up voices of truth in the media, his very own spokespeople. They may not be popular, but they will be highlighted and showcased for all to see. God will not be limited by an agenda or a certain stance that a network may have. 
He is the author of Truth, and the truth will be known. Photo via Flickr. Watch for new breeds of reporters and news anchors to rise to the top during this time. Ask the Lord to let your spirit resonate with truth when you hear it. As you partner with him in humility, he promises to lead you into all truth. Speed and ease. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Many of you are facing situations that feel impossible, and you may feel powerless to change them. But be encouraged, God is bringing solutions to things that have felt impossibly big and insurmountable. Many of you who are reading this will know this pertains to you, if you've felt stuck unless God moves. You've asked God for a miracle, because without one you haven't seen a solution anywhere in sight. This could pertain to important decisions, like relocation, finding the right place to live, renting a house, buying a house, breaking a lease, quitting a job, getting a job, or finding the right person to fill a position or a need. This month will be a testimony to the fact that God knew about your need before you did, and that he's gone ahead of you. Before you even knew what to ask, he made a way. He's brought just the right people together at just the right time. He's orchestrating things that you hadn't thought to ask about. This month will be marked by speed and ease. James chapter 4 verse 2 reminds us, you do not have because you do not ask God. Take some time this month to intentionally talk with God about your needs, and watch as he moves mountains to meet you. Declarations. 1. I am believing God for my promise. 2. I lay down my agenda to embrace God's will. 3. I choose to partner with God to discover the truth. 4. God is making a way where there seems to be no way. 5. God is working all things together for my good. Asterisk please don't miss our emerging and newly found prophets. Subscribe here. Anne Ballard The Crowning Jewels website, www.thecrowningjewels.com Email, hello at thecrowningjewels.com Texas-born Anne Ballard worked as a nurse for 17 years before fully embracing her creative nature. Having grown up believing that God only spoke through the Bible, her life was transformed with the personal knowledge that he still speaks today. As she experienced a revelation of God's love for her and the power of words to transform and heal, she began designing jewelry, partnering with Holy Spirit to create a tangible way to bring heaven to earth. This is where her prophetic jewelry company, The Crowning Jewels, was birthed. Many people recognize her company as a business ministry hybrid. She currently resides in Reading, CA. To receive more words like this in your inbox, subscribe free to the Elijah List at this link https colon slash slash elijahlist.com slash subscribe.